Hi everybody, happy Saturday. Um, we're back today with this uh, folio, this wildflower folio um, that we started last weekend. I didn't realise it was going to take us quite so long, but you know, in, in typical me style, I've added loads of bits and twiddly bits and whatever, so of course it all takes time. But I'm enjoying doing it and I hope that you're enjoying uh, following along or watching the video back and uh, making your own version of this. The papers that I've used for this are from chapter one and the, it's called Wildflower Moments, I think. And it's a really, really lovely, um, let's see if I can find the page. These are printed out on A3, obviously, you know, A4 is what they're designed for. Um, but it's really lovely. They've got all these lovely wildflowers and some caterpillars. Yuck. Um, and it's very white. There's no cream on here. And so as a consequence, I'm not using any sort of brown ink or anything. I'm trying to keep it quite light. Just for a change. It's, it's really nice. So last week we got this section made. Um, this is the original that I made with a sort of um, tuck spot, really. And I decided that because I'd stuffed so much stuff in it, it didn't work very well. So we actually made this one, which was much more of a pocket. Um, and what we put in it, in case you didn't see last week's, was uh, an envelope made of tracing paper that I'd printed onto and then stuck through the um, big shop with the embossing plate. So that was that. I still haven't put anything in it and it needs something in it. We made this uh, swing tag like so, which is really nice. I really like that actually. Uh, and we also made this, which is a three fold, folds out and it's tied together with this pink ribbon. So that's what goes into there. Uh, so it's quite full, quite a lot in it. And today, let's put those to one side before I get myself completely confused. Today, what I thought we'd do is this part, the the opposite side. And the reason that I've cut this in half, this side and this side, ordinarily I'd just use one plain piece, you know, maybe even one sheet double printed on both sides even. But I've cut this in half as a separate sheet and my idea initially was to um, print it out, print an image out, one of these images on uh, tracing paper, fold it in half and have it as a sort of loose leaf. Since then, however, I have learned about the joys of drying your flowers in a microwave. I think it was Nathania that brought that up. I'm pretty sure it was. But if not, uh, let me know. I'm sorry uh, if I've... Um, attributed that to the wrong person. So last night, after the live that I did yesterday, and we'd had a cup of coffee and all calmed down and whatever, um, we went out on a wildflower search. And it's really not difficult around here because there are um, hardly any houses and loads of, you know, get away fly, loads of um, hedgerows to, to find goodies in. So uh, we came across some and this is what I did. Subsequently today, Mr. F's been out <laughs> and found some more. So we've actually got more um, because really I'd like at the end of this, I'd like to have two versions. Um, they'll be very similar, um, but then I'll have two to give away or whatever I decide to do with them. Um, and it's acetate and they just needed the tiniest little drop of Fabri-Tac just to keep them in place because I was worried that they'd become shaker flowers and there would be nothing left of them. So I've sewn around all of that and I've folded back. And it's as it was of her. Ah, thank you, Nathania. Your um, contribution for the collaborative journal didn't arrive today, Nathania. Um, so I'm hoping it's going to come on Monday. Uh, we don't really have a we don't have a post on Sunday, so I'm hoping it's going to come on Monday, Nathania. Um, Pat Fleet, yours arrived today. Thank you very, very much. It came with the most beautiful little tag in it that said, you encourage me. 
and it's green it's gorgeous i love it once i've got it sorted out it'll go right there where carrie's coat is so uh i folded these back like so this is just an ordinary sheet of a4 acetate but i have trimmed it down a little bit and then i'll stick that in there like that and then the pieces of the paper for the for the folio will go like that each side and then i'm going to have to persuade it somehow that it wants to kind of lie down but i think i will be able to persuade it so that will be okay so that's that isn't that just gorgeous and isn't it just the perfect thing to go with our wildflowers it's really lovely thanks for sharing that Nathania. i think you've got everybody on the group drying flowers out now <laughs> that's not a bad thing Right, so this page here then, let's have a look at it and let's see what we can do. I think I've got I've got two pages all sort of cut out and sorted. Well, I think I have. Um, and it was no mean feat because I had yesterday, I had it all set up for the I Bought the Papers Now What uh, series. Uh, so all of that had to go away and then all of last weekend's stuff had to come out. So it's been a, a full morning, shall we say, a full morning. So what have we got here? Let's have a look. We've got an envelope like that, um, and it's stuck down open, um, stuck all the way around. That's a, a choice that you can make. You can just stick around the edges and then you'll have a, tuck, a pocket at the back if you want to do that. Uh, I, I didn't, I, I quite like it looking like that. And I made four tags. These come with the kit. So um, you don't even have to think of measurements or anything like that. They're just there. So I made two large ones, two small ones, and I've, I've run them all through the um, embossing folder because I went a bit embossing crazy last week. But I, I do like them. They're nice. So that's that. Um, I've got some little die cuts, die cut butterfly. That's it. Seems like it should be fairly easy to me. Let's hope so. Uh, so, let's see what we've got here. I've done some of the boring stuff, I think. Um, I hope I've done e enough and not too much, etc, etc. Um, this, I don't know quite what that sheet of paper is doing there. So this is our half, our other half. You can see it's the same as that and the writing goes across onto our other page there and we're going to have the um, wildflowers in between pressed wildflowers so that just needs a little bit of trimming it's still got some white edge on it so i'm just going to trim that off with my scissors I haven't ink drowned these pages. We've got this um, sort of faux inking, if you like, and I think that's enough. As I say, I'm trying to keep it fairly light. I can't get the scissors on the end. It's the narrowest little sliver. So there we go. That's that. Right, so we need an envelope. Now, I've been trying to explain all week long that any kit that you get that has an envelope in it, it's a good idea if you draw it out onto card and then you've got it. You've always got that template to use and you can use it on any paper you like then, can't you? So I have got this template. I'm pretty sure I shared it to the group. If anybody's watching that isn't a member of our group, we have a group on Facebook called Miss Paint-A-Lot's um, Junk Journal Group. Miss Paint a Lot's Junk Journal group. Pop on over to there. Um, you're very welcome. We're a really lovely, kind and supportive group, I'm proud to say. Um, and I do put up uh, templates and other things that I think will help you. So I'm just going to draw around this. Actually, no, that's not what I did. 
I drew. Whoa, there goes my green. Green doily, goodness. Um, yeah, that isn't what I did. What I did first of all, that's what this piece of paper is for, is I drew round it onto this uh, onto this paper. The design paper that we're using. Okay. So I am, I'm not measuring it out or anything. I've got this template. I know it works because I've used it loads of times before. And I think it's well, you get more value, even more value out of your um, kit that you've bought if you use the make templates out of things, I, I think. So I've got lots of envelope, lots of tags, etc, etc, um, that I'll always have. So there we are, that's that. Now I just need to cut that out. Oh, who have we got? Hi Helen, hi Janet, hi Lynn, Donna, hiya, hi Shaz. How are you getting on with those pups? I bet you're finding it hard to say goodbye. Um, if I was if I was you and I was in your situation and my dog had had pups and I was re you know homing them, not rehoming them, homing them, I'd be round there all hours of the day and night checking that they're, they're not rowdy and they're not, you know what I mean. I realise that's totally impractical, but it's like letting your kids go, isn't it? You know. There, there are flies or something in here. I'm wondering if we brought them in with the wild flowers. I feel like I've got a green fly on me. <laughs> I've become a wildflower. This is a gorgeous kit though, I really love it. You can see me using this, you know, a few times, which is unusual for me because normally I get a kit, I use it, and then I get a bit bored with it. And I want to move on to something, some new kit. Because if you're anything like me, you'll download loads from Etsy. It's like, I don't know. It's so hard not to. I've always got several kits in my basket. <laughs> well, you said I have to put them in your basket when you see them, to be honest, because there are so many kits available on Etsy that if you don't put it in your basket when you see it, you might never see it again. Even if you search for that exact thing again, it just sometimes just doesn't come up. So that's my excuse. Um, when I see them, I put them in my basket. And if then when I check out, I forget to take them out, well, it's not my fault. I can't help it. Right, so we've got this cut out, our envelope. And then what I want to do, you see on this one, because I'm using the design paper for the envelope and the design paper for the page, it doesn't really stand out very well. So we need to do something to make it stand out. So what I've done on this one is I've put it onto a blue card, which looks quite nice, I think. But for this one, I'm putting it on pink. Um, and all you do is stick it on and then cut it out with a little margin around it. So let's get that stuck on. I can hear Mr. Fix it making a cup of coffee, which is so welcome. So just um, glue stick is fine. I do get through a lot of glue sticks. Actually. So pop this down onto your card, make it easy on yourself and come in a little way to stick it and then that 
that's two edges you won't have to cut. So that's that. There you go. You don't have to do this. You could make your envelope one solid colour if you wanted to, and that would stand out. Just I wanted to use these um, papers. Thank you very, very much. That's very, very kind. So I'm just rubbing off the remnants of that pencil line. It's easy when it's flat like this. So while we're on the subject of what I've received in the post, um, I'll, I'll explain to you what it is. We as a group, the Miss Paint-A-Lots Junk Journal group, are doing a collaborative journal. And I'm asking everybody if they could send me in something like this. It's a piece of A4 or I, I, I don't know what it's called in America. Is it 11 by 8? Letter size, Letter size, whatever. Whatever is your standard copier paper. That's what I would like. One sheet of it folded down the middle like that. And I would like you to decorate this side, this side, this side and this side. Please bear in mind that it might go into a journal and it might not be the central spread, in which case you'd only see one of these pages at a time. And the only thing is that it has to be birds and butterflies or either all butterflies or all birds. But that has to be the theme. But it can it's going to be in your style, whatever you choose. And if you really, really pushed for time, get a piece of coffee stained paper and just either stamp or stencil some butterflies or some birds on it. That would be great. Uh, you know, it's really good to have a nice journaling page, plainish page for people to use uh, with the journal. So, you know, anything that you can manage really would uh, I'd be very grateful for. And then at the end, I will um, <laughs> do my best to make a journal out of it. And then we'll have a draw from everybody who has contributed to the journal. And one of those people will get to keep it forever, which is is a, ni is a nice thing, I think. So uh, 14th of August is the cutoff date. I need to receive them by the 14th of August. And if you go over to the group, you will see that my name and address um, is in the rack list. Just send it to that address, please. And I'm not showing them as they come in. Because I don't want anybody, I know what you lot are like, you look at them and you oh, mine's not as good as that. Rubbish. It, that's rubbish. Everyone that I've received so far has been outstanding, really good. So don't feel that you're not good enough, you know, just send me something, please. And we'll get them all made into a journal somehow. And Rose Peel's got a question. Mm-hmm. Speaking of kits, I've been searching for that complimentary kit from My Porch Prints. Have you mentioned, you've mentioned yeah, it a few times? Yeah, I have. No I've, been, I've just seen you pass it by, actually. All right. Uh, oh, no. That, uh, oh, no, it wasn't that one. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Next page. I don't even know what it's called. If you went to my purchases, it's probably in there. All oh, right, I shall look in there. So I'm just going to cut this round with a, leaving a little border of the pink, so it's visible. And as you all know by now, I'm not the world's best cutter outer. So it might not be exactly even. It'll be fine, I'm sure. It's definitely my porch prints one. Mm, well, do you know what it is like trying to find? I can't even find your orders at the minute. Purchases and reviews, it's usually. Go to the one that says you, yep. and then purchases and reviews. Uh, Certainly know my way around Etsy. <laughs> I presume by 
complimentary we're looking at something that's free i guess no it? no it's not free oh, yeah. it just complements the colors and it's it's just got four colors i think on the front page there's like a pink a teal a browny one and a bluey one let's have a look uh, it was relatively recently that I bought it. Um, is that it? Yeah, that's it. Right, so there we are. We've got a little pink border all the way around. Marvellous. Now we need to score it. So it might not be square, so make sure that um, you go, you're going along the right line. So I'm on that line there. Yeah, that's good. Sometimes you just have to move it a little bit just to get it exactly on the right line. Don't press too hard right at the edge because it's, you may very well tear your paper and you don't want to be doing that. Pat says she does hope you're putting your name in the hat too. Um, well, I wasn't going to actually. Pat, to be honest, because I think it would be nice if one of the... I, I'd love it, don't get me wrong. <laughs> I really would. I'd cherish it. Um, where are we here? There we are, just this one now. So scoreboards are great if everything you've got is square. Oh, I've already done that one. That doesn't get done because it stays up, I think. Okay. So let's just have a look then. Can I... and Candice would like to know what kit you're using for this one. It's by Chapter One. Chapter One Papers, it's called. And it's called Wildflower Moments. And it's, I love it. I absolutely adore it. Um, they also have one called Garden Moments. See what happens if you push too hard. You break your paper, like I have there. Um, that needs to get folded in along that crease line. I'm just going to burnish that down. This is quite thick card, this pink, actually. You get away with much less thickness it's like I say it's what I found yeah chapter one papers I think it's called well, I'm pretty sure it's called wildflower moments they also have a garden moments and they have a, another moments as well I can't remember what it is but somehow and I really can't tell you how the garden moments ended up in my purchased file <laughs> So, um, yeah, <laughs> I've got garden moments as well. So be prepared because uh, that will be popping along at some stage. I've got a fly here that's really irritating me. I'm quite certain he doesn't need to know how to junk journal. Right, so that's our envelope and you see it's looking the same as this one that we did. I mean, it's obviously a different colour. So I'm just going to glue these down and... I need some serious glue for this. Don't forget, these don't come right to the top, so don't put your glue on the top. Um, in fact, it's probably easier to put it on this piece. And it's quite strong, as I say, this card, so I'm going to put a fair bit of glue on it. Fold it up. I'm just going to have to hold it for a second while it gets the idea that's where it's going to spend the rest of its life. Right. So there we are. So the next thing to do are, is the tags. Well, we can stick this down to the page, actually, and then it can be drying as we proceed. So there's our page. 
looks like I've put it further down towards the bottom can't really see where the bottom is I think it's about there so it's quite let's just try the these in so we can see what how far we need to go down oh, I've got plenty of room to play with right so what I'm going to do is just to make sure that I get it square is get my ruler got to, oh, I'll use the little one it's big enough yeah, sorry. Ross says she bought that one before she lost it again. <laughs> put the link on. All right, okay. Uh, Candice says she can see another purchase coming on. So put the link for the wildflowers. Just have a look at all the chapter one papers. They are really, really nice. I'm not saying they're dead cheap or anything, because, you know, com compared to journal paper or whatever, they're a fortune, but they really are nice papers. And whilst you're at it, whilst you're looking at Etsy, have a look at Calico Collage. They do some really nice stuff. Um, so I'm going to put this on at an inch and a half. I can barely see, actually. It's the same colour as my blinking board, which isn't helping much. So I'm just going to line that up there and then put an inch and a half. And that'll help you just get it square. So I'm going to glue all over this because I'm going to stick it down. As I say, you can, if you want, leave that top bit and open and then you get a tag in there as well. But that's um, not what I'm doing today. So this is quite an easy page. I don't think you can go too far wrong. With it, it's just pockets and tags. Lovely, right. So I'm just going to stick that on fairly centrally. Just about there, I think, maybe a little bit more. And I know it's square because I've got the ruler there at the bottom. So give that a firm press down. There we are, it's looking quite nice already. I'll just check them in the right place for them. Yeah, that's lovely. Right, so now we've got a bit of um, bit of room to do some fancy stuff. Some fancy stuff. <laughs> Years ago, we were watching Grey's Anatomy and there was a, a doctor on there. I can't blink and remember her name now. Um, and that's what she used to say she, every time she said the word fancy which seemed to be quite often it was fancy <laughs> and it's just stuck I'm afraid it's just got stuck with us so I've got a little butterfly that I want to put on it um, it's one of those sort of dimensional die th dies um, just comes out a little bit like that which is pretty I thought that might look quite nice on it I've got a butterfly on this one after all and some die cuts. So what I did was, because Lynn Whitman on our um, Miss paint a lot uh, junk journal group had inspired me. She'd run out of a set of green and she needed green uh, die cuts. So what she did was she looked through a book that she had no further use for and found a page that had the coloration that she was after. And she ran that through the, through a Big Shot. And it's absolutely revolutionized the way that I use my Big Shot. I now put all sorts of things through it that may on their own be a little boring, but when you cut out shapes with them, they're marvelous. So, you know, have a go at that. It's really, really, it's great what you get. Uh, so today, today's lot, are greens and pinks um, and I have they were just well they were in my scrap box actually so I put a few sh bits of scraps on the bed of the um, cotton, po cotton board of the big shot and then just arranged the dies around them but they're really really like it. it's lovely uh, that's a very big one isn't it not too big. 
maybe not maybe not maybe so i do not know and i've got this pink as well um you can see it's had a pattern on it but it looks really nice so if i was to put that there and was to put that there over it i think that would look quite nice yep that's that's that and i'll just cut them off just below the the envelope because there's going to be some ribbon situation happening um and a ribbon situation a ribbon situation is going to happen watch this space <laughs> <laughs> that's i want something long and thin that's going to go up there um maybe that that's long and thin couldn't deny that these um dies that i'm using are tim holt sizzix wildflower dies and i think there's three sets of them i own two um i i owned one um hilda very kindly bought me another one so i've got lots to play with but i can't speak highly enough of them they're thin lips so you know you can't cut really chunky card with them but you wouldn't really want to because they're quite delicate things oh, i've already got that I've they're already... on 160 grams yeah this is 160 and it cuts them no bother i've got some other pinks over here let's have a look i'm kind of swamped somewhat by <laughs> by dies because <laughs> when i go to cut dies out i think well you might as well cut the full sheet and then i think well if i'm cutting the full sheet i might as well just keep going while i'm standing here so yeah what about that that looks pretty do you think what do you reckon guys i think that's quite pretty Right, let's get these stuck down. Now, I appreciate that this is a bit dull and boring, so please talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> Say anything that you want, you know. No, no. Ask a question. That would be a good idea. Yeah, ask a question. Ask a question. That is a very good idea. I'm just going to snip that off because I don't need to glue all down there. Yeah, is there anything you'd like to know that I won't be able to answer? <laughs> that wasn't a challenge. seem quite quiet today the cricket's on today so you you know doing a live when the cricket's on ah, but we've got it recording and pat says fiona you're spending my money again i'm looking on chapter one there are so many beautiful papers my basket is full again <laughs> i know they're lovely did you uh, have you got the garden moments in your basket pat it looks like it's Kind of the same as this wildflowers, but it's got creatures as well, birds and stuff. I can't get past a good bird. <laughs> Sounds a bit wrong. <laughs> Always been my problem. <laughs> and look what you ended up with. So the I'm best. just oh, oh it's so sweet. So I'm just sticking that onto the. It do, It is a bit fiddly. You can't deny that. But actually, I I don't really mind it. I'm sure you do on lives. I'm sure it drives you bonkers. Um, Jean says, what is the pattern for the paper, please? I'm not sure what paper she's referring to. Um, if it's the... Just run that by me again, Jean. I'm sorry. Uh, which, which, which paper are we referring to? Yeah, which paper? The design paper or what? what which paper? My love, I've got... Um, there is a link on the comments for the wildflowers one, isn't he? The uh, in the comments, I don't know. Yes, I put it. Oh, I you've put, put a link, I'm have you? you oh, All right. Link on for the wildflowers from chapter one. Chapter one. Yeah. Look at that fly. It's just been sent to irritate me. Uh, Lynn Whitman says the pink on the envelope really makes a difference. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? You just lose it, I think, without it, Lynn. I just don't think you'd see it at all. Um, Pat says yes, and butterfly papers. Butterfly. <laughs> And Nathaniel says she's repeating to herself, I'm not going to Etsy, I'm not going to Etsy, I'm not going to Etsy. <laughs> like, like some mantra. 
Nathaniel's sitting cross-legged on the floor like this, saying, I am not going to Etsy. <laughs> oh, dear me. Honestly, we're all the same. We're one as bad as the other. Jean says the background and the envelope made of. Alright, okay, that's the wildflower moments from uh, chapter one papers on Etsy. That's why we're all saying we're not going there because every time you go you see something else that you... Well, it's not that you want it, you need it. You know what I mean? It's a need. I mean, if I challenged myself... Don't say that because, you know, I love a challenge. If I challenged myself to use all the papers that I've got already purchased, I would still be making journals long after I'm dead. <laughs> I thought of that's quite nice actually, isn't it? That you can carry on journal making. Let's chop the bottom off this. Put the link on again. Okay, thank you. Um, and another place where I can send you to spend some money, because why should it only be me, <laughs> is Calico Collage uh, on Etsy. They are a little bit pricey, but oh, some of their images are so lovely. Uh, Nathaniel says she's working on a sheet of definitions for the word flowers. Oh, lovely. And Jean says she's 71. She just brought the 353 page kit. I'm going to live long enough to use them all. LOL. Damn sure you are. <laughs> well, I'm 60 myself, Jean, so um, I'm also not in the first flush of youth. I can't get used to the fact that I'm 60. I don't feel like I'm 60, whatever that's supposed to feel like. Um, and it came as a bit of a shock in March when I realised that, yeah, I actually was 60. But, you know, we're still here, still alive and kicking. So that's just going to go on top of the green one that we put on. So there we are. I think that's pretty. I love this blue flower here. That's come out much better than, than this one, which ended up with an upside down something or other. <laughs> but never mind. Never mind, eh? Right, let's put the pin in my glue. I'm sure I've already told all of you this about this, but... Um, the big bottles of glue like this, they're great for large areas, really, you know, brilliant. But for things, such fiddly things like these or, or anything where you just want a bead of glue, you don't want loads. I bought these little bottles. Um, I've got uh, two or three of them. I don't know how many comes in the set. I've got three. And this is my three in one. So that's this one. This is my Fabri-Tac, so that's that one. And this is Aileen's Tacky Glue, which is this one. Well, it's not, that's Turbo Tacky, but Aileen's Ordinary Tacky Glue. Um, and we put them, by we, I mean Mr. Fix, it puts them in these bottles for me and waters them down because if you put them in neat, they're too thick to come out of that very little nozzle. And so, with the three-in-one and the Fabri-Tac, with these two, the clear ones, you need to water them down with nail varnish remover or acetone if you have it. Same thing, pretty much. And not by much. What's the ratio, would you say? Eight to one. Eight to one. So eight parts glue, one part water, um, acetone. And then it comes out no bother at all and it's still amply strong enough to um, glue and this is the same ratio um, and it's yeah you know it's perfectly fine work it does a job that one's water yes you with the tacky glue it's water that you thin it down with so with the clear glues it's acetone because they're solvent based with the tacky glue it's water because it's water based so and the, it really does make your glue go further because you're just using a very small bead of it you're not using masses. Okay, so this is looking a bit like a spring, uh, spring, wildflower joy. Wildflower joy, that's what it is. You know, I absolutely love flowers and I love green. And 
Pat Fleet this morning when I opened her um, page. Sorry, guys. When I opened her page for the collaborative journal and she put this little thing in that was green. It's a little tag and it's green and it's full of flowers. And I did say the other day, I love cre green, green, cream and pink together. And it's all those colours. And it's just amazing, Pat, that you would listen and so intently and do something so lovely for me. And I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Right. So I've got... I've got a wider gap here than I had on the other one, but that's not a problem. So I can put that on and then I can put that on there. Mm, don't know that I love that. I could put that down first and then put that on. Yeah, that's better. That is definitely better. And then I was thinking I had some of these um, roses that I bought from Ali. Go away, go away, shoo. Um, and I thought they might go along there. What do you reckon? I think that's pretty. Yeah, I like that. I might put them more to that side actually so I can get that little butterfly there. Right, okay, so the first thing to do is stick this uh, lace down. And that's a job for Fabri-Tac. Anything that involves um, anything to do with fabrics, uh, yarns, threads, anything like that. Fabri-Tac is your man. It's brilliant stuff. It's not the same as 3-in-1. So don't think because you bought 3-in-1 you bought Fabri-Tac. You haven't. It's a different beast. And if you're using it out, the, out of your bottle, make sure you replace the lid really quickly. Otherwise, eruptions occur. <laughs> and they're not pleasant. Right, so I'm just sticking that just so as the bottom is level with the bottom of my page. Okay, that's grand. And then that's going to go there. Like so, so I'll just cut that off there. Now, the problem with satin ribbon, and I use it a lot, I like it, I, I like the effect of it, but if you use glue, it just seeps right through and it looks ugly. It, there's no, no other word for it, it looks ugly and I don't like it. So, what I use is my double sided tape, and I've got a little roll of it here. <laughs> ridiculously big oh dear so I'm just gonna stick that on just above the uh, lace that we've just applied right to the end of the page and another one there just underneath that pocket that's what you get when you ask me to order some in yeah I said to Mr F can you just order me some um, double-sided tape and um, yeah no bother of course he's very always very obliging and uh, he said he'd ordered it great and when it came there was well I've had a little bit of this so it was actually even bigger there was five big wheels of this <laughs> so I'm not going to run out of um, double-sided for quite some time and it's actually industrial stuff you know it's what they use in factories and the like um, it's 3m stuff and it's super super tacky i can tell you so make sure that you burnish that down quite well and then um take your scalpel i shouldn't see my scalpel for a little while i don't know where it is stop it that flies insisting on blinking being on the edge of my cup So I'm just cutting the lace and the double sided uh, level with the edge of the paper. Save that, that's too good to throw away. So I'm just going to have to pick this off because I really have no idea where my scalpel's gone. It's not too bad anyway. If you burnish your double sided down quite well, um, the, the top bit will come off relatively easily. 
Right, so now our satin ribbon, and sometimes it's it's single-sided, sometimes it's double-sided. This is single-sided, so I want to make sure I get it right. And if you pull it, as you put it down, you'll get it straight. I mean, just a little bit of tension. I don't mean massively pull it. So that's that there. Trim off the excess. Deborah says maybe you could trade in some of your tape for Hilda's gauze. <laughs> yeah, she's got a lot. <laughs> she's got a lot of gauze. <laughs> Mr. F, crafting is like weddings. You want a cake and it's a tenner. Call it a wedding cake and it's 300. It's That is so true. Yeah, it's so true, Mr. F. Well done. Right, so that's that. So what I'm going to do now is put this butterfly on and it's all sort of shiny. It's quite nice. And I just want to see if if I want that just to come along there like so. And that on the edge. Probably need, I don't know. No, I'm going to put all of that along there. And it is short of the edges, which is what I want. I don't want it to go right to the edge. So, Fabri-Tac again. I didn't put the pin back in that when I used it. So there is a right and a wrong side to this. And I searched high and low for this trim in a shop in this country. You know, online physical shops before the lockdown business started. And I couldn't find it anywhere. The only place I could find it was um, Amazon, uh, Amazon, AliExpress. Uh, so they do, but you know, if you put trim in there, or even rose trim or flower trim, you'll be there some time. So that's another place where you can spend your money, girls. Uh, Nathaniel says, don't pull the double-sided tape too hard; it can wrinkle the paper. That's a good tip. Good yeah, advice. it it good can. Tip. Yeah, it's a good tip. That uh, Pat says she picked up a brother's. Cut and scan today. Oy. And Jean says, is it medical grade gauze that you use for journaling? Um, the stuff that I use, I haven't got the wrapper anymore, but it comes from Boots the Chemist. Um, and it's, it's classed as a bandage. So I don't know if they'd use it in a, in a, a surgical theatre or not. I don't. I imagine it would have to be um, sterilised for that. Uh, I think it is sterilised when you get it. Ah, right. Until you open the wrapper, of course. Yeah. That's stuck. That's great. So that's pretty down there, I think. And butterfly. This fly is really, really, really annoying me. So I think I'll bring that in a little bit and put that there. I like that. Just going to use white glue for this. A lot of me being quiet today, isn't it? Sorry? A lot of me being quiet. A lot of you being quiet, yeah. yes. Yes. I must put a note on the calendar. <laughs> There's just no need. Right, so I'm going to pop that there. Uh, Jean says, is it coloured? She wants to buy coloured gauze. Probably uh, the best way to dye it yourself, I would think. Definitely. Um, Buy yourself a, a, a bandage, is, is what I would say. Get yourself a bandage, and tomorrow I'll show you how to dye it. I'll, I'll put a link onto the boots one for those in the UK. Yeah, excellent. So that actually folds up and that folds up. I know it's not going to stay there, but I don't want it stuck down either. So I'm just lifting it. A quite a long way. That is a good tip, that Nathania. If you if you pull your tape when you put it down, it buckles or it can buckle the paper. Good, a really good tip. 
And Jean says the fly is buzzing around the wild flowers. Well, I wish it would buzz off. <laughs> it's really, really annoying me. <laughs> um, so ordinarily, I would put is Jen is Jen on. Uh, I can't see her. We might get away with it today then if Jen isn't on. <laughs> Because <laughs> ordinarily, Jen would be saying, put some bling on. Um, and ordinarily, I would. I'd put a little stone down there. I still might. I don't know. But it's quite blingy paper, that, anyway. So, you can see it's got quite a, quite a glitter to it. Uh, Pat Fleet wants to know if your butterfly is cut out by machine. Yeah. Um, well, it's a manual die, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's a big shot. Big shot. Big shot die. Right, so that brings us along nicely. Ah, right, right, okay. It's a Tim Holtz die, um, but I'm quite sure you'll be able to find a picture of a butterfly online um, and import it and cut it out till your heart's content. So we've got our tags. I've already cut them out to save you the um, boredom of watching me cut them out. And if you've been watching my lives during the week, you'll see that I have been colouring the backs of my tags with the waste that you get when you run something through the big shop because these now have become ostensibly stencils and yes they're made of card they're not going to last forever but they're free because you chuck it away otherwise so I'm just going to use them to uh, just put a little bit of something on the back of these cards uh, I'm just going to put that one there, I think. And I'm just going to use my um, the antique linen that I've, I've used for virtually everything else. And you don't want much. It doesn't want to be too dark. Just a nice whisper. And of course it wants to move because it's just a card. So be careful of it moving on you. There you go, you just get that sort of quite ethereal. It's here, but it's not here. So I'm just going to add another little one down the bottom. The journal that I've been doing the lives on through the week is, co is called um, I Bought the Paper, Now What? <laughs> um, because I can just imagine that a lot of the new people they hear us talking about the kits on Etsy and they go and they seduced as we are into buying things and they've got the paper and then what do they do? You know, what do you do with this paper? So this uh, little mini series that we're doing at the moment on weekdays is exactly that. What do I do with it? I've got it. What do I do? So um, that should help hopefully some of the sort of new starters. Mr. Fixit put up a video uh, through the week, was it through this week, about um, printing multiple images on one sheet of paper, um, which is a really handy thing to know. So you might want to just have a look. If you want to subscribe to my channel, I would be most grateful. That would be excellent. And if you do, you'll see all these um, videos that we do, of which there are, seems to be many. Um, I seem to be forever, I seem to be talking to you more than I'm talking to Mr. Fix It, to be honest. So that's nice. It's just, you know, it's just, you can still write on top of that, but it's something. Makes it look like we really cared enough to finish it off nicely. So I'm just going to put one little bit on here. But with that journal that we're doing through the week, the um, I've bought the papers, what now? Um, I've used different coloured inks on it depending on where it's where it's going, which papers are around it, should I say. So I've got some lavender, I've got some blue, and I've got some of this. And they look nice. I think that's enough for that one, so that's fine. So all we need to do now is put the holes in, put some um, ribbon through them, Let me just get out this. <laughs> it's sharp as you like because it's brand new. And it doesn't take much guessing for you to know which kind soul sent me this. 
I really appreciate everybody that donates to this channel. Uh, I don't do journals. I used to do journals to sell. That was just what I did. Um, and they all they always sold very well. And I was always very delighted when one sold, of course. And people used to order commissions from me. You know, I'd like, I'm going to Scotland for a fortnight for my holidays. Can you do me a journal I can take with me so I can put the photograph of the hotel and where we walked that day, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and so, you know, I was always, always busy. But then I decided that um, what I wanted to do was to teach people how to do it because I could see so many questions people had about things. Um, and I, I really wanted to tell them, you know, this is how you do it or whatever. So I decided um, to, to do this YouTube channel, to do all of these tutorials, but to make them free, no matter what, they will always be free. And there'll always hopefully be guidance on here, um, particularly probably for the new starters, because the more experienced people know how to do things. Um, and to make it, you know, just not, we're not in this for a profit which is a good job, <laughs> but we're not in this for a profit at all. And some kind people realize that the things that I make, the, the supplies I need are, are expensive. And so we have some people who generously donate to us. Um, and that just makes it easier for us to carry on doing what we do. So a huge thank you to all of those people. There is no obligation to contribute to that at all. But for the people that are in a position to do so and have done so, I'm very, very grateful to all of you. Really, I am. It keeps us rolling, as it were. So I'm going to use pink uh, ribbon because I've got a pink thing going on. Um, and I'm just really just going to um, do a very simple... Come here, I'm just going to bring that through. And if you've got something like um, eyelash yarn, that's perfect. Or um, some people have linen threads, some people have gold thread. What, whatever you've got, I, I happen to have this crochet, pearly crochet stuff that I like. Once again, if you've been watching through the week, you'll have seen that we actually have gone overboard with the amount of ribbons that we've put in tags and they look gorgeous. But for this purpose, I think we're doing OK. So this is the bit that you need to have plenty hands. So hold the hold that out of the way, pull it up and then pull that tight. And put a good knot in it. I think that's okay. So I'm just, I generally just put three, I don't know what they're called, reef knots or something. I can't remember, but I think they're called reef knots, over, under, over, under job. And just snip that off. It just keeps your ribbon in place. I'm going to cut one at that angle and one at that angle to stop its uh, fraying. And just do the same with all of them. Well, actually, these ones are tie a knot in. This quarter inch satin ribbon that I use, um, and thank you, Pat, for that beautiful colour you sent me today. Um, and, and I'm going to do the same, tie it one way and then I'm coming back and tying it the other way. It's this quarter inch satin ribbon. Honestly, it's I think it's the most useful thing ever. I use it all the time and I've got loads of different colours. I buy it off eBay. It's really not expensive, but it can make such a difference to your journal. A bit of coordination. So we're getting there. Look, we've got one one tag to go in with a nice. I really like that. Actually, it's nice. Um, and we'll just tie another knot in the top of this. Jean wants to know what she would do with the extra arm. 
the extra arm. Well, I'd, ho I'd hold things out of the way. It's what I'd do if I had an extra arm. Or I could have two coffees at the same time, which might be quite nice. There was a warning you would get disqualified from the world juggling contest. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, yeah. So all them hours you've put in. With my extra arm. <laughs> with the extra arm. Would come to nout. That's no good then, is it? Right, so there we are. We've got that. We've got one little one done. Actually, I'm not altogether happy with that tie. I don't know what's up with it. It's not right. So it's coming off. So you see, if you'd left a gap behind the pocket, you could also slip a large... That's not long enough. What are you playing at? Um, a large journaling card or a tag in behind there as well. So yeah, this is where my extra arm comes in, Jean. I need to hold that there and then I need to tie a knot with my ribbon, with my um, crochet stuff. So you can see an extra arm would be quite handy at times. So hold that down, pull that in. Yeah, that's looking better. I don't know what was wrong with the last one, but I didn't like it. Uh, Jean wants to know the circles where you've been punching holes, how are they done, please? Right. Well, the kit, they come on the kit ready discoloured, like they've already got a reinforcement on them. Um, so I, I haven't had to do anything with them, I just cut them out and that was it. The If you haven't, if, if you've got a, if you're making your own tags and they don't, obviously don't have that reinforcement bit on them then what you can do is buy ring reinforcements and they're generally self-adhesive um, but they're supposed to come out there but this is a really old packet there they pop out as, as you pull them and they're uh, self-adhesive but I don't trust that adhesion. I don't trust anything that says it's self-adhesive. Uh, so I just would run a bit of alien around there. Then I would pop it onto um, something, like a piece of this, for example. So I'll run around it with some aliens, like so. You don't need as much as I've put on there. To be honest put it down like that now if you if you really didn't like the color which is now white what you can do is take a load of these uh, you know make them not pop out the side like that so you've got a whole string of them and just rub um, some distress ink over them like a vintage photo for example walnut stain if you want them dark and then you've got them there they're ready um, to go and they'll be brown and then the hole in the center that's just your standard hole punch however you would normally punch your holes I'm very fortunate that I have been totally ruined this week and I have a brand new shiny crocodile look at that so what you do is it's just like that and it makes a hole so you just straighten it up like that down it goes and look at that for perfection so there you go and of course if you were using coffee stain paper to back it you could do that first yeah and then back it yeah and punch the hole a second time yeah you could you uh, wouldn't see it at all that's right i mean a lot of people do like to make a feature out of these reinforcements um i don't particularly but some people do uh, so yeah stain them stain them any color that you want that you've got ink you know, in that colour. Was it Jean that was asking about dyeing gauze? Uh, I think so. Actually, Jean, I've made this tag myself and it hasn't got a reinforcement on it, so um, it's just going to be slightly different to the rest. Nathaniel's got another tip. She says that when you, if you use funny foam, yeah. use it in the big shot and the negative is a really good stencil, which we use with spray too. Ah, oh, Nathaniel, you're full of bright ideas. Thank you for that. The, where I'm tying this with crochet uh, thread, 
If you use eyelash yarn, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's really fluffy and lovely. Uh, and it, it gives it a much nicer appearance. I'm sticking with what I know here. Although somebody kindly sent me some pink eyelash yarn this week. So tie that off tight. If you don't, it's just going to slip out. There we go. Trim my ends off. You can make it into a bow if you want to. That looks pretty too. So there, we've got all our tags for our pockets, our pocket done. Um, seem to have rather too many. <laughs> so some, oh, some need to go in the old one, and some need to go in the new one. That's an old one. Look, because that's what I did last, last time. Uh, this one, yeah, that's an old one. <gasps> that's a new one. Oh my goodness me. Uh, that's a new one. So we're nearly there with that. That's an old one. That's good. It's all working out. And there must be, yeah, here. There's another one here. Old one. Right. So that's the pocket. That's all the tags. Um, when they're embossed, they are a little bit lumpy. So there's sometimes, a, you know, you have to lift the flap up to get them to go in. So that's that page anyway. So what do you think? Will it pass? That's it, I just want that not to be stuck down. So have a look at that and see what you think. It's nice, isn't it? I like that embossing. So that's another page that we've got done. Right, so the, the next page up, if you like, is, is this one. And it's, it's quite a big and complex page it's got this flip up here I was going to make this flip out as well but I decided no it was it was all right as it was so this was a little envelope um but today when I went to get all my stuff sorted out I didn't have another little envelope like that so I've had to make one and this is the template for that little well it's not really an envelope it's going to fold over like that and get glued down there. That flap goes into here, into there. And then there's a tag at the back there. So that's that's that. Um, I don't I don't think we'll start this today, except to say if you want to get yourself a, a template made up, it's one and a quarter inches up to that first fold, one and a quarter inches that way, and the central section is two inches. And this flappy bit up here is three quarters of an inch. Okay, and then it'll fold like that, like that. We'll put something over the top of that, and we'll be, it'll be perfect. Uh, then it's got a little tag that goes into there, this big tag at the back, some doily fides, business going on um yeah that that's that but i think that we'll leave that till tomorrow because it's a long long page and it would just take too much time i do want to draw you to your attention that i didn't have a green doily and i wanted to use a green doily so let's see the difference there i have dyed one myself and what i did well, what I asked Mr. F to do was get one of our spritzer bottles. Um, we've got the Mini Mister, uh, the Ranger ones. I didn't buy those. They came in with something else we bought. Or you could just use... Um, these also come from Boots the Chemist. And I think they sell them for people going on holiday that you can decant some of your ordinary stuff into a little bottle and take it with you. I don't know. Um, but we use this. And what we do when our ink pads uh, are no longer giving up any ink to go around pages or whatever, we 
um, well, Mr. Fixit, soaks them in water and lets the water run off. So it's very pigmented, actually, because for all you think that there is no ink left in it, there's still a ton of ink. Uh, and he catches it and then he decants it into here. So then I have, I've nearly used all that, but then I have various colours of spray. Um, for free, really, because the ink pad was going to be chucked out. So it might be worth considering that. Yeah, no, it wasn't that one, actually. I think it's... Um, it was a distress ink, I think, called um, Mode Loan, something like that. Anyway, um, I wanted to make it green, not white, because the white would just be too bright. Although there is a lot of white, it wouldn't show up. So what I did was, because I don't want to um, get green everywhere, I got my bin and I put the doily in it and then I sprayed. I used the bin. <laughs> As a spray booth, yeah, I used the bin. So I just dropped it in the bottom of my bin and then sprayed it. And I'm going to do it again now, actually, because it sort of, sort of fades as it dries. So I just pop it in there and I spray it. I've hardly got any ink left, stuff left, but I've got some. Nobody can see what, actually what you're doing. I know, but I'm, <laughs> telling, I'm telling you. It's I know, in the you're bottom, painting a picture. It's in the bottom of my bin, which is acting as a spray booth. So there we are. That's green. It's, it's not a very bright green, but it's greener than the white, as you can see. So tomorrow we'll use that round there. And that's kind of that, I think. Um, if you're watching and you haven't subscribed, please, please, please consider subscribing. Um, it would be great if you could. And thank you to everybody over on the um, Miss Paint a Lot's Junk Journal group. You're a great group. You're really very giving, very caring, very supportive. And I'm lucky, more than lucky, to have such a lovely group of people um, with us. There will be um, a part two to this, which will actually be a part four, really, won't it? <laughs> Tomorrow at two o'clock. Uh, in the meantime, get your flowers, get them dried. Get them pressed in some acetate. We've got loads more than this. Mr. F's been out this morning getting more. We've got l so many beautiful wildflowers now. It's untrue. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with them all, but I'll find a reason. I'll find something to put them in. And uh, that's kind of that. So where's our page that we've done today? Here it is. So that's going to go there. This is going to go here, and that's going to be the page went picking wildflowers in the middle of nowhere yeah and bus trips turned up to see me <laughs> I, I mean poor lad he was he was so sort of embarrassed as it was you know about going out a bloke picking wildflowers <laughs> so he, he selected somewhere that we, we both know and you would say is quite well hidden from everybody you know there's nothing there so nobody ever goes there um and as he was picking his flowers a minibus turned up full of young lads like a football team or something I don't know anyway he hot footed it back into the car but by that time he had actually got quite a lot of flowers so he did well the lad he did well there's so, more to do with social distance than, than embarrassment mind mm, we know that of course so there you go that's this page done it looks quite pretty I think I like it it's still very this is pink, whereas this is probably more lilac, and that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. So tomorrow we'll be moving on to the, the front, which is the this bit, the flippy bit. Okay. Thank you so much for joining me. I just love your company. I really do. And I appreciate the time that you spend with me. Um, and I'll be back tomorrow at 2 o'clock UK time, where we'll continue, continue on with our little folio. Thanks for joining. Bye.